The novices are, going to, are likely to be more susceptible to a good story. Some sort, of, uh, some sort of narrative or story that ties together why this new technology will be the next big thing. Uh, the Wankel motor is the next big thing because by 1980, everybody's going to be driving with a new type of motor. Uh, aviation is the next big thing because we are going to be freed from uh, the ground and trains and we're going to be able to fly across the country in... Or the Atlantic. Or the Atlantic. Uh, uh, so says Charles Lindbergh. Ne never mind that the promise of the technology was, was uh, or the promise of the industry was really delayed until the jet engine came along in the late 50s. And here we are in 1929, off we go. And, and it looks exciting and of course you know, the, the human fascination with flight is very old. Uh, and, and I think we all saw uh, the, those pictures of people with long, you know, they put big feathered wings on their arms, you know, from the 1700s and they're going to fly. And if only their chest muscles were 80 times as strong, it would work. Uh, and uh, they're not. Right? And maybe one of the purest cases of the alignment of beliefs uh, is actually not in in our sample of technologies, but in the book is the example of President Polk in oh, yeah. 1848 in his annual message to, con to Congress, the sort of State of the Union, he, he talked about the uh, discovery of gold in California. And this, you know, hearing from the President of the United States that there, is there are confirmed finds of gold in the uh, California foothills, started the, the boom, the gold rush. So that it was, you know, again, this alignment of ideas. Up till then, people might have heard little bits and pieces. Oh, there, you know, people say there's gold in California. But when the, but president, when the president says it, then everyone's like, wow, I'm, I'm, you know, getting on my steamship. I'm heading to San Francisco. I'm going up into the foothills to, to uh, strike it rich. And of course, that led to the 49ers, who, as a, a cohort, uh, did not fare so well. Uh, the yeah, people, that team's the been awful recently. Yeah. The, the miners who made money tended to be the 48ers who were ahead of Polk's uh, statement.